the gold frame. The modern frame works was an extra large wooden packing case mounted on wobbly legs. Its owner, Datta, was always seen sitting hunched up, surrounded by a confusion of odds and ends that went into putting a picture in a frame. Many times when he lost a glass cutter or pencil stub, he had to stand up and shake his dhoti vigorously to dislodge the lost object. Then the shop would rock. A customer handed Datta a sepia-brown photograph of an old man and announced, I want this picture framed. It was just another elderly person of those days. At least half a dozen people came to Datta every month bearing similar portraits to be framed. The customer described the greatness of the old man. What sort of a frame do you want? Datta asked. Plain, wooden, lacquer, gold, plastic, or just enamel painted? Baffled at the variety, the customer mumbled, I want the best. Datta recommended a fancy one with gold leaves and next asked, You want a plain mount or a cut mount? And watched the puzzled look return. He suggested that a cut mount looked more elegant and agreed to get it ready in two weeks. Datta had learned by experience that his customers never came punctually. They came days in advance or months later, and some never turned up at all, and their pictures lay unclaimed in a box. The customer came ten days later, and it was not ready. Datta sensed the man's obsessive attachment to the photograph. So, the next morning, he made that his first job. He carefully laid the photograph on a wooden plank on the floor and looked for the pencil stub for marking the measurements. As usual, it was missing. Frantically searching, he stood up and shook the folds of his dhoti so violently that a white enamel paint tin fell right on the sacred photograph of the old man emptying its thick, slimy contents on it. In a desperate attempt at rescuing the picture, Datta rubbed it so hard with a cloth that half the old man's face and turban peeled off. Not knowing how he would face the customer, Datta gazed at the pictures on the walls. A photograph of a person who had a faint likeness to the late old man held his attention. At the back of his mind, an idea began to take shape. Datta saw the possibility of finding an acceptable substitute. He brought down the old wooden box in which he had kept all the photographs unclaimed over the years and searched for brownish photographs of the old man's vintage. He finally found one. After a couple of hours of concentrated work, he proudly surveyed the old man's double, looking resplendent in his gold frame. He was taking perhaps one of the greatest risks any frame maker ever took. The customer turned up a couple of days later. Is it ready? With his heart racing, Datta held the glittering frame towards the customer, who was visibly struck by its grandeur. Suddenly, the customer furiously demanded, What have you done? Datta had rehearsed what he would say precisely for this occasion. But before he could open his mouth, the customer shouted, Now, don't deny it. I clearly remember asking for a cut mount with an oval shape. This is square. Look.